As the world moves further and faster into the information age, the need for information technology professionals is growing on a daily basis. Companies use digital information systems and they need people who can design, set up and maintain them to remain competitive. As Belgium Campus, our mission is to provide industries with graduates who fulfill their IT needs and become assets within industry structures. The Belgium campus was founded in 1999. Where traditional South African universities are mainly training their students on a theoretical way, Belgium campus understood very well the needs from the industry to train the students on a practical way, including soft skills, business skills, and this to the latest available technology. Well, the experience on Belgium campus, it's been fun. I got to get to know new people, new friends. They're all fun and exciting. What I'm hoping to achieve is that more knowledge about IT because I want to create something you know, based on IT like creating a new PlayStation that glows in the night or something like that. I also feel that the vibe here at Belgium campus is awesome. Everybody's friendly with one another. There's no fighting. The lecturers pay very good attention to each and every student and that helps us succeed in the future. Belgium campus employs a participative development model. What this really means is that we involve all the stakeholders in the process. The first, of course, is the student, very important. We have to look at the specific background of the student to determine if they have special needs. The second is, of course, businesses and industry. They have specific requirements. Some businesses, for example, require mainframe skills, which we do offer. The third stakeholder is the community and the whole regional government. This means that the projects that we create here must serve to uplift that community, to create jobs, to improve service delivery. Lastly, we have to look at the needs of academia so that we include those essential theoretical skills that are required in this field. The reason why I chose Belgium campus is because they offer game development and they're, only, they're the only campus basically around which do offer game development. I want to develop games, I want to develop game AI and want to create a game, maybe work for Blizzard and Belgium campus is the best choice for that. Well with the skills that I get here, I hope to work in a bank as a developer and work hard to get to my goals of being a manager or a leader, just basically make it to the top. At Belgium campus we constantly update our curriculum to be relevant and within the framework of the CIG. This is done through research done by our faculty staff, communicating with the industry, companies that uh, take our students for in-service training and their alumni. The in-service training that you receive in your third year, I believe it gives a needed experience to show you what it's like, how to work with computers and IT in the real world. AIT here at Belgium campus offers our students the opportunity to go and work with some of the major IT companies in South Africa such as Nedbank, Reserve Bank, FNB and Kajima. I feel really confident about my in-service training. It's going to help me as a person grow and evolve and with the experience that I gain from it I could probably work at companies such as Siemens or BMW or maybe even IBM one day. For my in-service training I've had the opportunity to work at Klim in Belgium where I worked on several large web development projects. This has helped me enormously in getting work experience and has also allowed me to see more of Europe. This is a unique opportunity that you can only get at the Belgium campus. So what's the difference between CPM and PET? Good person, Christian. PET is probabilistic, CPM is deterministic. I strongly feel the need to break the stereotype that everyone in IT are tiny little antisocial geeky men sitting behind computers and I want to show that a strong world female can actually have an impact on the IT industry. Here on campus females are still in the minority but we have found that our female students perform better in the academic sense than our male students. So here at the Belgium campus we try to encourage if they have a true passion in IT to perform their best and encourage new students as well, male or female, but in general we try to get more female students to see the benefits 
of studying in the IT field. The ladies on campus, we are really good at multitasking and then we can do theoretical subjects as well as practical subjects while the guys are really bad at theoretical subjects. We also help each other on campus, that's why we have mentorship on Friday so that if you have problems as a first year you can consult someone who's in second year or third year and then if someone doesn't know they get to consult consult a lecture and then the lecture will attend to that problem. My father and my uncle taught me the basics about robotic engineering since I was very young and Bowser Campus can um, improve my skills and my knowledge about robotic engineering with the hardware programming. This is the robotics lab where all the magic happens, where we breed future entrepreneurs and great innovators that are needed in the South African economy. If we look at the South African economy, manufacturing contributes about 20% towards the GDP. We need graduates who are very fluent with robotics so that they're able to keep the economic wheels flowing. In this lab, we give them hands-on experience to work with picking and placing of machines, picking and placing of components, and also how these robotics work in the food processing industry. We also work with renewable energy, whereby we monitor solar panels and we also work on how to maintain them. After I graduate from Belgium campus, I would like to work for a car manufacturing company. I would like to maintain the robotic systems like the one behind me. That's something that I could only learn at Belgium campus. Good morning guys. Today we're going to start with recursive methods. Recursive methods are methods that call themselves again. Sir, how does recursive methods affect all memory? Sir, how can we apply recursion in real life situations? So behind me you can see a couple of students working in the server room of the Belgium campus. The server room consists mainly of a server farm, a mainframe as well as a complete cloud that we've integrated into the system. The server room is what powers the infrastructure of the campus. It is also where we provide full hands-on training for our students so that we can expose them to the needs of the industry. Within the next couple of months we're going to get a new Z1100 which will then be used for IBM students and we're going to compile things like COBOL and so on on that. Infrastructure in the Belgium campus plays a huge role, especially in my life. It has given me a lot of education and using the infrastructure chair and mainframe they really helped me to gain my experience in programming language. How you can connect things, how you can fix things, how you can solve problems and creating a solution that will better everybody else. And I think probably if I go out there in the real world, I'll know how to handle everything in there. I feel that the company that I'm going to be placed in is going to be the most fulfilling and happy environment. So we did a lot of coding, which is really going to help me out there. So it has to start from the platform, which is the core, which is the infrastructure. I love days like this at Belgium campus because they bring us together as students. It's the beginning of the year and students don't really know each other, like the first years, second years, third years. They're separated by their classes and their schedules. This gives us a chance to like, get to know each other out of the class, connect with each other, learn things that we would never find out in class. Like in some cases, in some activities such as singing, you find out that someone that's sitting right next to you in class can actually sing properly and nicely gives you a chance to experience new things and have fun out of the class, which is always a good thing. And then we get to learn more about each other, which helps. Days like this at Belgium campus, these fun days allow our students to feel like they are part of a community, like they can approach us as lecturers and, and see that we're um, as involved in, in what they do on campus as they are with their studies and everything uh, involved in being a student. As a group, we're coming together to paint a t-shirt on the community with three aspects, meet, valorize, and rear fight. Basically, we've got the ship flowing through information, carrying the community, sailing to a new world. On this ship, we have a loot of gold, and it shows that we're adding value to the new world. It's our valorize. Then we've got the handprint and the fingerprints on the t-shirt, which shows that the community is coming together to make this um, possible. It's showing that we're reifying ourselves to it. Belgium Campus highly values its partners the high schools where our students come from, the students themselves, the industry, 
be it national partners or international partners. We had recently in October the visit of Her Royal Highness Princess Astrid together with a business delegation, but also academia coming from Belgium. We work together with the academia and the universities in South Africa and in Belgium. And we work together with local and international government as well. Morning everybody. Could you please take out your applied mathematics textbooks because today we will be covering linear programming. Sir, will there be a question like this in our paper on Monday? There will most definitely be one of these in the question paper. One of my favorite subjects, Database Development 200. I didn't actually start off as one of my favorites because I actually did fail my first two tests that I actually wrote for it. But the way um, my lecturer, Cindy, the way she structures her classes, and the way Belgium structures their classes is they're very interactive and they're very small. So I actually got individual attention. And throughout that process, I actually was able to qualify for my exam. I was always passionate about IT, passionate about computers, passionate about doing anything electronic. And I'm sitting here with the decision to do an IT degree that's better than any place you'll find in South Africa. What I like about Belgium campus is the first thing I thought when coming to IT varsity is I'll be bombarded with fancy words and big terminologies and not understand. But Belgium campus was so personal with me. I actually learned, the lecturers interacted with me, and my favorite subjects were actually programming and uh, open research, um, ORS. That was one of the greatest for me. I enjoyed it, I completely loved it. Um, I never felt like I was being thrown with stuff. I always felt like I was being taught and I could actually understand. I was taught great logic and I have a great ethics now because I now see what IT can get, bring to you forward, not not just educationally but also yeah. personally. Coming out of Belgian campus you have work, you are, there's no way that you don't get work. The reason why I chose to study at Belgium campus is because I've always been interested in IT and computers and my family is also directed in the mm. IT field and I've looked at the degrees and the courses and it's of such a high standard that it would be crazy to study anywhere else. I'm happy, I'm a second year, I'm enjoying it and my hopes for the future is to one day get a good job in the internship, work there, work hard, uh, achieve something good at that company and finally start my own business writing OSs because I have decided I want to beat Microsoft one day in OSs. Belgium campus. It's a path to adventure. It's connected. Redefines technology. A place I want to learn and become an IT professional. That's one of the best IT institutes in South Africa. It's the key to success. It's where I am enjoying a higher standard of IT lecturing. It's the key to achieving my goals. It's unique and people are very friendly here, unlike in other places. We redevelop the future in IT. It's a great place to teach with wonderful people. It's where my future begins. Makes going to class really exciting. Pushes me and teaches me perseverance. As a new learning experience every day. Join Belgium Campus today and ensure a prosperous future tomorrow. Breathing together to breed excellence.